I'm back here in Cebu Home Builders because since the time that I have showed my guest house I got several emails of people wanting to try and stay in my guest house while they want to visit Cebu so I had a couple that want to stay by October so I'm here now to buy the things that I need to finish my guest house because um, it needs painting so I'm gonna have to get some brushes and other stuff to make it all ready for them by October because I don't want I hate letting people down so I'll try my best to make it all ready for them by October so I'm going in here now to make sure that I got all the stuff I need and I'll be videoing myself as I pick up the stuff that I need for finishing my guest house I'm here in Cebu Him Builders I'm gonna pick up some stuff that I need like this um, stripping pliers that one is only 480 pesos I'm gonna get that I need some Phillips screwdriver to test the electrics this one is 115 pesos and I need a new Phillips screwdriver for only 85 pesos it's all in this brand Kendo I also need this mini pliers for stripping off electric cables this one is only 145 pesos and I'm gonna get myself another tape measure but a smaller one because mine was those big long ones the 7 meters 8 meter one so I need a 3 meter one this only for 165 pesos of these tools here I'm gonna get some paintbrush so this is their paintbrush area I'm gonna need two and a half with this camel brand this is only 74 75 so I'm gonna need like three of the two and a half inch paintbrush then I need some number four Four inch one the camel brand seems to be the cheapest one here although I've seen what's this it's still a camel brand um, Lutos ones but is it only on one inch so the paint brush here the Bronco 109.75 so the camel don't seem to have the three inch one the KCT for number four is 209 pesos and this one fan club is only 113 for number four so the camel is still not cheapest for a four inch brush oh there are actually dear sorry this is 159.75 but the thing is, if they're gonna come off, so I'll just try a couple of those with this other brand. Fan Club Utility for 113 pesos. But I wanna make sure that it's not gonna come off. One. Two have one of this camel I'm gonna need some wire brush wire brush to the Bronco for three inch I don't have a three inch so I, I think I need a three inch as well just to cover it up so I always need paint brushes because of this maintenance that I do with the house just paint it white so I got this wire brushes here this type is 129 each this one if it's branded like Buffalo is 99.75 but I'll just go to the ordinary wire brush it's 12 pesos and 50 cents I just have a 
I'll make sure it's got no brand it's the same price because it does the job the same time the same if it's expensive or so I'll just go to the 1250 wire brush I have six of them put it on my shopping cart here I'll go and look at the paints uh, these are not the paint area these are the waterproofing and sealants it's over here you got the solignum you got a different kind of paint by the paint I use for my outdoors and indoor at the same time is from island it's called the star or something so these are the paints like I said like in my video different color variants prices now I need some sandpaper I don't know which one there's so many choices of sandpaper here so many brands and type available it's even here for only 850 this is number 240 so you got loads of choices of sandpaper depends on the brand but I'm looking for sandpaper that's about 240 I think the 240, 240 is here for 850 this rolling dog seems to be got a red this is the 360 is too thin I think 240 just to sand off those wood that I need to be sanded for the furniture this is only 8 pesos 50 per sheet so I'll guess 6 on 240 2 3 5 6 so I'll get 6 on 240 and a little this is 180 at 850 this is 120 I think it's more coarser I need the 120 to smoothen those furniture that I can varnish up so I'll have one three one or four 120 it's always come in handy this, they're not like food that they perish so if you're building a house here in the Philippines there's lots of choices of sandpaper you got all the packaging tape this is 240 120 I think I'll just stick to 240 and 120 for the ones I need for the moment but they have all the different sizes for from the lowest type 2 the big grainy ones so I'll check it there on my checking cart but I'm gonna see this one here we also got the Norton 425 very coarse like a wrinkled thing I got a roll of that at home I don't need that what else the rolling paint I don't need this one I got some at home I will be showing you my workshop you know where I put all my tools because I'm very organized you can see them on the wall mark and paint and not painted mark so you know this is for my plumbing stuff these are for my painting stuff and this is for my electric stuff on my I, I made a little well, garage workshop I call it where you I, I store all my tools my machines my welding machine so when I use it I can find it in a clean place so I don't need that I got a lot of that and I think I had all I wanted for today I'm here in the parking lot of Park Mall as I continue on shopping for the uh, finishing my guest house and furnishing it I'm gonna go there in cutting and if you were wondering 
where is Park Mall? If you see those buildings up there, those are Mandani Bay, part of the Mandani Bay com um, congregation of buildings and condos that they're gonna do in the future. I, you know that I featured this Mandani Day Bay before, but I have to take it down because one of the people working in Mandani Bay had their own YouTube channel and they don't like it that it's got more hit than their own YouTube channel. So they asked me to take it down. So no problem. And now I'm gonna go into Park Mall to continue on my shopping for furnishing like pots and pans, plates and stuff for the guest house. So this is Park Mall. This is the parking area on the back. You can see there's lots of people selling plots up pots and pans and plants over here. Uh, I got sore throat. But here is the back of Park Mall. 